Jolie, coming to check in on an old man? I must confess, I, I would rather you were here to speak to the warden and begin my trial. Soon, old friend. We don't want to go to trial until we've got the whole picture. Oh, I grow weary of staring at these four bare walls. But I suppose you know what you're doing. You know, the role of Arbiter cannot be taken lightly. Well, uh, you know I was having an affair with Alasa. I went there to break it off that night. But I can tell you it wasn't easy. She is... was young and beautiful. But I love Alora. I knew I had to do it. I broke it off quickly as I could and then I left. Found out later she'd been murdered when the Soulcath authorities came knocking on my door. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alasa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Could I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the Selkat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. So the truth is out. I never meant to kill her, you know. When I found out she was a Sith spy using me to gain information, that something inside me just snapped. She didn't know I had found out. So I waited until she fell asleep. And then I... I killed her. Simple, really. But once I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. I contacted those spies from the Republic to help me. I found the illegal monitoring device that the Sith had planted in the room, altered its recording to hide my part in it, and cleared up the evidence. I figured that was the end of it. The Sith must have been spying on me and Lhasa, trying to make sure she wasn't a double agent. They must have seen the Republic spies getting rid of all the evidence. So they planted their own evidence. Lhasa must have stolen that hero's cross from me long ago and given it to her Sith Masters, like some kind of trophy. I just thought I'd misplaced it. But when the cross turned up on her body, I knew the Sith had put it there. So, now you know the whole story. What are you going to do? You think I'm some kind of monster, don't you? All I did was kill a Sith. How many Sith have you killed? Dozens? Hundreds? Thousands? That's different, Sunri, and you know it. We don't kill them in cold blood while they sleep. I don't see how the two of us are any different. She was a spy. She was using me to get information so Malak's army could destroy the Republic. She deserved to die. If I confess, I'm looking at 20 years in prison. And the Otto City officials might even place Colto sanctions on the Republic Embassy. Without Colto, how can we treat the injuries to our soldiers on the front lines? No, I can't do that and put the Republic's supply of Colto in danger. No, I won't! Now look, I may have done something stupid, and it may only be worse for my standing by it, but I will not confess! If you turn me in, the Republic will likely lose its Colto export privileges, and then we'll lose the war for sure! Are you going to send all those thousands, millions like Taurus, to their deaths just for your sense of justice? 
Sunri, this is wrong and you know it. I am a Jedi. What is it that you expect me to do to defend your actions? You do whatever you have to, Jolie. I know what I did. But I also know what's at stake here. No. I'll rot in here if I have to. But I won't betray the Republic. Do what you have to. But know what the consequences will be. Got something on your mind? Oh. It is an honor to see justice served, and I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. He's saw leaving. Sunri left before I heard the blaster shot. Impossible! You are 
feareth me, the well-known Pazak player. I wonder if we can trust the word of a, a gambler as reliable testimony. Of course, Your Honor. Feareth me. What did you see the night of the murder? Well, I came out into the hallway, after hearing the blaster shot, and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall out of the building. <laughs> A very obvious point, Your Honors. The accused was seen leaving the scene of the crime after the blaster that killed Elasa was fired. <laughs> You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no, but I don't think there could have been anyone else there. <laughs> I think it may have been. I mean, you'd have to be pretty stupid to leave something that important lying around, wouldn't you? Yes, from what I could tell. She carried a lightsaber under that cloak of hers. Objection! That doesn't prove she was a Jedi. the Rodian, you were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw Sunri leaving Alasa's room, didn't you? This is clear then, that Sunri left the room with the Sith Elasa already dead behind him. <laughs> Chawa Wisyun Kun, Ogra Shok Chong Kanti Chakum Hudro, 
Lupor, Lupor. Don't do it, Lupor. Lupor can king David Nibora Tong Chitsa. Lies! Slander! I object! Lupor Wonky. Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes. I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. <laughs> Yes. Yes, it was true. He was having an affair with that Sith harlot. It seems painfully obvious that he killed her to keep her quiet about the affair. He'd been seeing her for some time, I think. But he said he was going to change. He'd gone there that night to end it. We talked the night before and he'd promised. But now things have become so very complicated. I wish to call forth Sunri himself, Your Honours. Lupor, Lupor. 
Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunry? You fought in wars against the Sith Empire, correct? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic needs its heroes. Indeed. Would you say that you dislike the Sith? Even hate them? Of course I hate them. Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get, killing millions of innocents? Pure politics. Were you in Alassa's room on the night of the murder? Well, yes, I, I was. I had been having an affair with Alassa and my wife, yes. But I realized how wrong I'd been, and I was going there to end it. You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end it quickly and quietly, so you killed her from behind and tried to flee. No, I... I think we can see the answer clear enough, Mr. Sunry. I don't know. The medal had gone missing some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. It's possible the Sith had stolen it and had it planted on the body. Supposition, Your Honors? Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They... they might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. The Sith Empire is not the barbaric institution you portray it to be. Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful Sith woman get with an old cripple like me? I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to end it, and the simplest, quickest method, giving his hatred of the Sith, was to simply kill her. Witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that any informed observation of the facts will lead the judges, your honors, to this very conclusion. <laughs> 
Doesn't mean a thing. He was there, running from the room. He's gone. The Sith would not leave the medal of her killer clutched in her hand. He's gone. Thank you for saving me. I don't know how I can repay you. Elora and I are going to leave here and get as far away from all this as soon as we can. I and the Republic will not forget what you've done for us. Thank you. I don't know what to make of it, to tell the truth. Do you think justice has been done? But that has little to do with the law, doesn't it? Sad state of affairs, that. Too bad, really. Sunry was a good man once. Well, I don't want to talk about this anymore. My jaw aches. Hey there, what can Okay.
thing you did there. I almost brought a tear to this old man's eye. Wow. Sometimes helping people feels pretty good, you know? You managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith Bay. Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very poorly. We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle and bring us victory. Manan is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful medical substance in the galaxy. Frankly, we need as much of it as we can get. The Selkath conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith and the Republic equally. This includes Kolto exports. But a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there would be nothing to stop them from taking Manon anyway. So we made a deal. 
We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Colto directly at its source. We also hope to one day be able to synthesize it effectively. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we take would hardly be noticed, since most is lost naturally before it reaches the surface anyway. We were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction, um, an ancient building or artifact, possibly your star map. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that, and we haven't heard from the station since. We don't know. We just don't know. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. Ostensibly, they're to be shipped off-world to aid in our fight against the Sith they're really for another purpose. When we lost contact with the station in the Rackard Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. None returned. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but none of those expeditions have returned either. The reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out what happened to the Rackard Rift station. But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of exposure to the Sith. And now I must live up to my end of the bargain. I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. Merely use this card to get past the door behind our Colto packing room and enter the sub therein. It has been programmed to take you down to the station and also to take you back up should you need something. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of ours and nearly exhausted the mercenary population of this planet. The soldiers we have are barely enough to keep this base secure. The Sith have also noted our interest and begun to bribe mercenaries away from us. Please, find out what happened to the facility. There may be some survivors left down there. Perhaps even the head scientist, Kono Nolan. Good luck in your efforts. When you are ready to explore the Rackard Rift, enter the Republic base. In the Colto packing room, there is a door leading to the Republic submarines. The sub will have a core. I wish you luck on your quest. There, you got what you wanted. Sunry's free. Now don't ever mention my part in this again. Hey, Tyber, how's it going? Ah, glad to hear it. Hey, this stuff's all for the Republic Embassy, so can you just bill it to them?
citizen. Move along. Hey, you working for the Republic? You look like a Republic agent. I can see the cowardice in your eyes. You think you can impress me by spouting a bunch of Jedi garbage? If it wasn't for the Selkath neutrality laws, I'd add your name to the list of Jedi I killed. Stop to talk to tourists. I'm on Colto packing duty. perhaps? An odd thing for the Republic to do, no? Yes. 
Hey man, clear out. They're cramping my style with the ladies. ready to explore the Frackert Rift, enter the Republic base. In the Colto packing room, there is a door leading to the Republic submarines. The sub will have a course to the Frackert scientific research facility charted in. It will take you to the Frackert Rift. I wish you luck on your quest. Hopefully a Jedi can succeed where so many others have failed. How did you get in? Did they send another submersible? Quick, we have to get out of here. We have to get away. No! No, we have no time. We have to leave now. I managed to close the door after they killed everyone else, but I don't know how long it will hold. The cell calf, they went crazy. They started killing anything that moved. Someone must have triggered the defense systems too, because all the droids activated as well. I was one of the mercs the Republic sent down here to find out what happened. We came down and secured the first couple of rooms. There were bodies everywhere. And the cell calf came out, screaming and croaking their fishy little war cries. They're dead. All dead. They swarmed out and over us. There was no way we could stop them, so we ran. But hardly any of us made it. I locked the door behind us, but, but the others had already left in the submersible. The sharks, the Feroxa out there, and worse. I heard an explosion shortly after the submersible left. 
They didn't make it. Just food for the sharks and the silcath. Like us. That doesn't mean it's not still out there. Watching. Waiting. No! I locked the door so the Selkath won't get in. If you open it, we're all done for! If you go in there, you're dead. You're all dead! If you want to die, then go. You won't hear me mourning for you. I'll stay here and be safe until some sort of real rescue comes. Where did you go? Wait. No! Whatever's out there will eat me too! Eat all of us! You can't make me! I won't go! No, no, no! It will eat us all up if we go out there! At least I'm safe here behind this door. The Selkath can't get me in here. When the Republic sends a real team down, they'll save me. They'll kill the monster and then we'll all leave safely. If you're going to go into the rest of the station, don't expect me to help you. The Selkath will rip you all apart.
Is somebody out there? Fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> Come and eat me too. <laughs> you can't get me, little fishy. Nothing here. I'm safe behind my walls. Investigate? You're just like the others. Order for the Selkath. Walk and fish next. Trump, trump, trump. If you can run, you might be fast food. When the Selkath went insane and started killing everybody, I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. No, 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 that's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they're dead. The Selkath ate them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the Kulto is, few fishies there, but many, many, many fishies in between the water. Don't know. Go ask them. <laughs> when the demon screamed, it shook every mind in the station. We fell to the ground but survived. Fishy fishies, though, they just got hungry. No, only the ones left. No, 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 only the one. Bye bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy. That's you. What? Gotcha. Simple. Sure. No problem. Got it.
Thank you. 
Somebody out there? Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? I walk out and bam! Cell caps swarm in from everywhere, ripping and rending. Fishy moves fast and silent. No, 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 my friend. I don't play that game. I've got a winning hand right here in this room. My room. No fishy fishy for me. And the cell man went insane and started killing everybody. I locked myself in here. I'm safe in here. Nothing can hurt me in here. No fishy food for me. No, 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 that's what the others said. Mercenaries like you, but they're dead. The cell can't eat them. Lunchy munchy. Only the ones left in the south part of the base might still be alive, but where the cult are is. Few fishies there, but many, many, many fishies in between the water. No, no, only... Bye-bye. Go look for fishy people. They'll chomp and bite and chomp and bite. Food for fishy, that's you. I can see that much. Are you another rescue crew? Isn't it obvious? The cell cats have gone insane! They're killing everything that moves! All my companions are dead. The cell cats swarmed over us. There were dozens of them. And they, they looked wrong somehow. Like something had changed inside them. Insane or something. Oh, I'd have gone back to the surface long ago if this complex hadn't been overrun by all those crazy cell cats. There's no way for me to get to the submarine docking bay. I discovered a way to get to the bay and seal off the rest of the base. I just have to find the Colto Harvester they built on the edge of the Hracker Rift. It's got an emergency override to open the doors to the submarine docking bay. And I could get in from the outside. I figured my only chance was to slap on an environment suit, head out onto the ocean floor, and check that harvester out for myself. Besides, it's got to be safer out on the ocean floor than back in there with all those crazed cell calf mutants running around looking for dinner. I'm not spending another minute in this facility. Not with those psychotic fish people all over the place. I'm heading out to the ocean floor right now. It leads to another complex of buildings. 
Going through them is the only way to reach the Colto Harvester. We should probably stick together, but I won't wait around in here with a cell calf. You can catch up with me if you want, down the hall and through the doors on the right. I'll be waiting on the ocean floor where it's safe.
No, you can't come in here. You'll let the Faraxa and the Selkath in. No, stay out! Stay out! I won't let you open the door for those monsters to get in. I'll stop you. I'll suck all the pressure out of the chamber. That'll stop you. Kill them! Kill them now! 60 seconds to complete depressurization. 54 seconds to complete depressurization. <laughs> 48 seconds to complete pressurization. 42 seconds to complete pressurization. 36 seconds to complete pressurization. 30 seconds to complete pressurization. No, no. The Faraxa will get us. No. The Selkath are coming. No! 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 Ah! I... I'm sorry for what I did. Uh, I don't know what came over me. I, I... I just panicked when I heard someone outside the door. <sighs> Please forgive me. I'm just so scared. We're both just scared. When the Selkath went crazy, I thought everyone else except me and Sammy went mad. We had a few people outside the station when it happened. The frax and sharks just tore them apart. It was it was like they were frenzied. The next thing we knew, our Selkath researchers started screaming and, 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 and clawing at everything around them. My team, my team was torn apart and eaten before my eyes. Sammy and me, I, I thought we were the only ones left. We heard the Selkath outside the doors every once in a while and... Strange noises echoing through the base. We thought everyone was dead. Dead or insane. I must have been hysterical. I, I don't know what I can say. I truly apologize for the horrible mistake I was making. I'm Kono Nolan, and this is Sammy. 
We were scientists working here on the Harakard Rift project. We don't know. Not for sure. The work teams were outside in the rift, near the vent. Then there was this rumbling, and my head felt like it was splitting open. This... this monster rose up from the rift. It was a Firaxa shark, I think. Bigger than anything I'd ever seen before. Bigger than our submersibles. It was like it was screaming inside my head. Then all the Selkaths started screaming too. And they turned on us. It may. It may have been. Maybe it was protecting the ruins by the rift. It could have been. It might have a lair in the Harakard Rift near the Kolto vent. Hmm. That might explain a few things too. Like why it reacted so violently when our construction efforts got closer to the vent. And also, why it's so large. It must be feeding off the Kolto. It would have to be ancient indeed for it to reach that size. With Kolto as a food source. And all those other Firaxan sharks? Those might be its offspring. Which would be why they all swarmed when it called out to them. Children coming to protect their mother. The Firaxan sharks have always been a serious problem. We had some blasters and projectile cannons to defend against them, but... They still got some of our workers from time to time. We were working on a soluble chemical compound that would drive them away. Something that smelled or tasted repulsive to them, but we never got it working right. Oh, I think not. Even flawed like it is, it should be ideal for this situation. No, it's not working right. You don't know what it'll do. The repellent we made was supposed to drive Firax and Sharks away, but we never got very far in its development. The one we tested instead was violently toxic to them, rupturing their outer skin in seconds and preventing them from drawing oxygen from the water by clogging their intakes. Which is exactly what we need in this situation. Something to kill that monster shark that destroyed our station. But we don't know how else the chemical reacts. We only tried it in a controlled environment. In the open ocean, who knows what it could do? It could even affect the Kolto. We know exactly what it'll do. It'll kill the shark. That's what we designed it to do. You don't need to do anything else. We have a canister of the toxin here right now. We were working on it before the giant Firaxan drove all the Selkath insane. All you need to do is insert it into the main Kolto harvester and have it vented. Get away as soon as you can. We don't know how much worse it'll affect the giant Firaxan shark. Well, the monster seems to have been driven out by the machinery we installed at the edge of the rift. We've seen it out there on the cameras, bashing itself against the machines. I think if you could destroy the machinery we installed, the shark would calm down and retreat back into its lair inside the rift. You can reprogram the harvesting machines to overpressure their self-oxidizing fuel so that the fuel tank canisters will rupture and the entire machine will destroy itself. The hydroleum gas we use is a gas at 1 to 3 million sangin, a liquid at about 4 million sangin, and a solid above that. When it's a liquid, it's very explosive. If you inject enough of the hydroleum gas into the tank, the pressure will be so great that it'll turn to liquid form and start a chain reaction inside the machine. But... but we'll lose everything we've built here. All those years of work! It's better than whatever your chemical will do to the water. Good. Destroying the machinery will be better in the long run. We can't risk damaging the environment or the Kolto. You'll have to break into the computer on the harvesting machine and fiddle with the fuel injectors to get the tank pressure up to the point where the hydroleum will liquidize. Once the machinery is gone, the shark should leave. That won't work and you know it. We have to vent the toxin from the harvesting machine. Once the shark is dead, we can get back to mining the Kolto. You know what you have to do. I just hope you make the right choice.
We saw what you did out there on the cameras. Destroying the machinery was the right thing to do for everyone. That creature, the giant Fraxen shark, the guardian of the Colto or whatever it was, seems to have calmed down a lot. It may even be safe to go outside now, but we'll stay here and wait for the Republic rescue crews. Thank you for not making a huge mistake. I saw what happened on the camera, and I can't believe what you did. How could you willfully destroy the Colto harvesting machinery? That'll set us back years! I'll have you know that when we get back to the surface, I'll have the Republic do a full inquiry into your actions. Now go back to the surface and get the Republic to send a real rescue team down for us.
Returned. I was beginning to fear that you too might have been lost. Did you find out what had happened down there at the facility? Something was down there? Living in the rift by the Colto? That's horrible. The entire operation wasted by a disaster we could never in a thousand years have foreseen. What has happened to the facility itself? Were there any survivors? Well, that's good to know. Good to know indeed. But what has happened to the facility? Was it damaged? No, that is terrible. That will set our work back years. It may even cost us the war. While I am glad that you were able to solve our problems, the cost may have ended up being much too high. But you have done your job and helped us in our time of need. And for that I thank you. Oh, and did you end up finding your star map? As you can see, by helping us, you helped yourself. Perhaps we can work together again in the future. Greetings once again. I trust you have been discreet concerning the events at Rackard Rift. Should the Selkath obtain proof of what occurred down there, the consequences for the Republic would be severe. For both our sakes, I hope you are smart enough to keep silent on this matter. Truth be told, I'm uncomfortable even with us being seen together. The rumors are already plentiful enough among the Selkath about the Republic's role in this. A beautiful place. Obey the Selkath. I re Then I shall...
Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes? in the middle of a room. I don't know if you've got what we're looking for. Jedi aren't generally suited to mercenary work. It's north of you. Now if you... All of a sudden... Uh, normally... So why are you telling me? Oh, it's you again. I probably should cut back on the drinking, but it's a good way to relax. There's a lot of tension here on Minan, but I don't really want to talk about that right now. I'm just here to have a couple of drinks and try to unwind, you know? Oh, ah, uh, come on. Seems like... Give in to the dark side. Worm, I killed your people on Cat. 
there in the sky, there on the ground, in their homes. I hunted them down like the animals they were, <laughs> just to see them burn. But the treacherous beasts fought back and left me with injuries that meant I could never fight again. <coughs> or so they thought. No, I will not give it to him. I ended up at the lower city of Taurus, and what did I find? <coughs> A few of those stinking beasts living there. The male was easy enough to best. I didn't know what happened to them after I killed the male. <coughs> Until I saw this cursed woman on the auction block. But then the Jedi came and ruined everything before I could <coughs> have my revenge. <coughs> you... you killed my father. You killed my people. You, you treat us like animals. You deserve to die. Embrace your hate. You are no better than me. You are nothing. I... 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 Uh, help me, please. Do not let me give in to my anger again. There is peace. No, I will not do this. He may die, but it will not be out of my vengeance. You coward. You weak. That man was a beast, a monster. I am glad that the galaxy is now rid of him so he may not harm others again. I do regret, though, that he did not die by my hand. Must I always fear the lure of the dark side? It was for the best. I am glad that you stood by my side during this. We should continue our journeys now. No reason for staying here for.